All right, everybody's showing up slowly but surely. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'm expecting probably to, at most 25% of people to make it today. Uh, we're probably going to have calls every Sunday for like the group chats, how's the challenge going, how's everybody feeling. But um, yeah, this, they're all are going to be recorded. This one is going to be recorded and I'll, I'll post a link later. Uh, so if you can't make it, don't worry. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, most of you, I think, already uh, signed up for the challenge and uh, the ones who haven't, I think Julia, you haven't yet, and Lisa, Lisa Step, right? Is that Lisa Step? I, I don't know who's Lisa S. Yes, yes, yeah, fine. Yes, okay, pretty good. Okay, so you um, are debating. <laughs> I know, okay, anyways, um, for those who, who don't know what the hell this is, it's essentially um, home workouts, uh, three to five workouts a week, and then we're gonna do some cardio, uh, not too much and look at your nutrition and um, I'm going to give you suggestions in terms of uh, macros, habits, or anything else that fits your, fits your plate uh, to propel you uh, to some healthier goals, whether that means increasing endurance, losing some fat, gaining some muscle, or all of the above, then uh, we're going to try to do that. Uh, last year girls, uh, most of the girls uh, wanted to lose some fat and on average I think they lost like six to eight pounds over six weeks. So if you are a little overweight that that could work. If you are underweight uh, then uh, I will probably give you uh, more calories and, and more food and you'll eat more and uh, gain some booty and your waist still is still gonna stay small and firm. So that's the goal. Um, can everybody see me okay? All right, because I see me random people. All right, I am going to then uh, share my screen and just go over this beautiful document that everybody who signed up already has received in their inbox. It's like a manual on what you need to do. Uh, you can print it, uh, always have it with you, uh, but essentially just going to go over this quickly to make sure everybody is clear on uh, what is going on. Uh, so first, if you have problems, talk to me. There's a group chat in the, the app. It is right here. Uh, Thank God it's 2021, it's called. I'm gonna post all of the Zoom links in here, all of the questions and the tips, and you are gonna respond, hopefully. So um, that is our primary means of communication right here. If you are having problems, or if you wanna to talk to me in private, you are absolutely welcome to. We have a private message in the same app that nobody sees. You can just message me. Or if you want to call me on the phone, please schedule a call using this link. It is free. <laughs> if you see that there's like paid sessions in there and that those are for new clients, okay, these are not for you. You can always schedule a free call with me if you just want to chat about whatever. Um, also, you also have my number. Uh, and unless we're like super close friends uh, and you just want to hang out, I, I do encourage you to use the link because I'm usually busy with work from like 8 a.m. to about 10 p.m. And uh, my day is kind of shot when a lot of people call me at once. But I do love to talk to you just as long as you schedule in advance. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, if you skip a workout, that's fine. Um, if you mess up on your food, that's fine. I guess the number one point is you do need to talk to me. If shit goes south, please do not. I, I advise do not just like fall off and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I like, I feel guilty. You eat more food and you feel more guilty and you do less workouts and you cry on the couch with a glass of wine while watching Netflix. I don't give a shit what you do. Please talk to me or talk to other people in the group. Like it's fine. We all mess up. You know, I've gained quarantine weight. If some of y'all gained unnecessary weight or lost stressful weight, it's not good, but we're here to help each other. Okay. Talk to each other and myself. Everybody good on this? <laughs> okay. Also, if you have, if you do have questions right now, type them in the chat. Uh, I'll answer them later. Progress photos and weigh-ins. So uh, everybody is uh, welcome to take a progress photo in the beginning. That looks kind of like this. Oh, messages, no, don't show messages. All right, that looks like, kind of like this. So you take them with your hands up 
um, from the back, from the front, and from your hands uh, forward, uh, or as long as they're not blocking your belly, I'm fine. If your hands are down to block your waist or belly, I don't know if you have like anterior uh, pelvis tilt like uh, this friend of mine uh, or like myself uh, or anything else, but essentially you do take pictures like this every week and then we see what you need progress-wise. They also help me to see if you have like scoliosis or other random things. Uh, and if you feel not motivated, it really, really, really helps to get you back on track when you see week one, you were kind of bloated, kind of whatever. And then week two, you were like less bloated, felt stronger, but looked about the same. Week three, four, you know, your belly looks flatter, your, you look stronger. It keeps you on track. I hate taking progress photos when I'm fat or when I feel like I'm fat, whatever. I have body dysmorphia. I never know how, how I look in reality. So progress pictures do help me kind of evaluate what in reality is there. And they will help you too. If you are totally shy, um, we can blur your face or like cut your head off uh, before sharing them. But anyways, they do help you. And I also encourage everybody to share them in the chat. And the funnest part is when we share when we share them in the chat, uh, we're going to give each other compliments because we modern women are supposed to fit this image according to society. And that's some bullshit. We all are beautiful, no matter uh, if we want to improve or not. And we're going to give each other compliments uh, in the chat based on our photos. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, cool. Next. Did, did anybody have questions? I almost heard somebody say something. No? no. Okay, cool. Great. Uh, rest, hydration, relaxation. Um, I do encourage you to do something active every day. However, if you've been exhausted, not sleeping or sleeping less than four or five hours, I mean, you people with kids, I know that happens. Think twice whether you actually are ready to work out really hard that day. Um, if you're properly hydrated, so four liters or one gallon of water a day, if you haven't really drank water and you, you know, are dehydrated, forgot to drink water, had drinks last the night before, um, you may consider an evening workout or like a long walk instead. Um, you know, yes, it is necessary to, to go hard and harder than last time in terms of working out, but sometimes you need to give yourself a break, whether your body asks for it or whether you made dumb decisions that also ask for it <laughs> after. All right. And um, this is the big part is don't work out because you're guilty. Work out because you want to be healthier and stronger and you love yourself, please. If you do feel guilty, tell us in the chat and we'll, we'll encourage you why you shouldn't feel so. You should already feel not guilty because you're here. Let's, let's start with this. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, flexible dieting. Uh, that's how I coach. Some people write meal plans. Some people say, oh, this food is bad. This, this food is good. Do keto, do vegan, do, you know, only whole 30, like whole foods, no preservatives. I don't know, whatever. That's not how I coach. I coach by flexible dieting. If you don't like it, that's fine with me. Uh, but I just want for you to completely understand what this is like. Flexible dieting means you can eat anything. As long as you fit, your uh, daily macros that I'll give you. So as long as you fit your, uh, whatever you eat, your daily calories and macros, uh, and that works both ways. If you're maintaining or losing weight or gaining muscle, whatever, whichever one of these, as long as you fit your calorie goals, you're good to go. After that, you need, well, first you need to have rest and relaxation at the bottom of your priorities, of your pyramid of success. Rest and relaxation, communication, right? Then your calories, then your macros, then your workouts. Yes, workouts are less important than food. They are. Um, then your, what else? Workouts. And then your supplements. Pretty simple. If you don't meet your food and your workout goals, there's no point in buying any kind of sports supplements. It's just going to create expensive urine. I have a good article on the, on the website. Don't waste your money on the supplements unless you're really, really killing it with the food and with the workouts. And the food is pretty simple. You will, we'll be learning about flexible dieting throughout this whole thing. Most of you already uh, worked with me in some fashion. So you, you know what this is like. Uh, and if you're confused on what to eat, just talk to me. Um, I'm here to give you tips. I'm here to give you recipes and exam sample meal plans. Not a problem. As long as you don't eat the sample meal plan every day for weeks and weeks, 
you're fine. Um, all right. Continuing. Um, having a food scale really helps. Um, if you don't, you can measure with volume. So like cups uh, or spoons, that's not a problem. Uh, there's no need to be a food Nazi, but uh, having a scale is makes it so fun. And then if you're like me and you're like, ooh, let me just like make the biggest, like most delicious looking pad thai, but it's gonna have more uh, protein than fats and carbs and it's gonna have less calories. This other thing. So uh, I think it's really fun. Uh, and we can experiment and share recipes. Um, and in a second, I'll show you how to put it on my fitness pal. It's going to make perfect sense. Did somebody say anything? No. OK, maybe I'm hearing voices going crazy. Uh, all right. Calories, macros, micros. I'm going to give you all that after I get some data from you after you log one or two days of food. So I see what you eat and then I can make suggestions. But to start with, um, everybody, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's, let's start with about 25 to 30 grams fiber a day. I want for you to try to hit 100 grams protein and see how hard it is to eat enough protein. Uh, and let's do less than 60 grams of fat. Now, y'all are all different women with different goals. We actually may have one dude in this challenge. It's one of the girls' husband. Uh, yeah, and uh, it'll, it'll be really fun to see to see how everybody does. But uh, last year we didn't have dudes. Everybody still did pretty well. Everybody had their unique macros and, and stuff. But write this down. Uh, today, tomorrow, well, today is already half a day. Tomorrow and the day after, try to hit 100 grams protein, at least uh, 60 grams fat or less, and uh, at least 20 gra 25 grams of fiber. And how you're gonna log that is, um, can everybody mute please? Please, thank you. All right, and how you're gonna log this is you're gonna go to my fitness pal. So you can use both Total Body Lab and my fitness pal from your computer, but there's apps for the phone that are super handy, super fast. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you the computer one because I'm on my laptop and I'm, I don't wanna share a phone. So for example, um, today for breakfast, I had say uh, BB Fit, I don't know, one plum, uh, some TVP, some oats, and I don't know, a coffee, which has zero calories, so who cares? And say blueberries, all right? So you can search and, and hit search and then add, or I, I usually add by, you know, um, multi-add, it's faster like that. And you put the quantity, um, so say, I don't know, one mug, 0.25 or a cup, or, you know, half a cup, two cups, whatever. I'm gonna hit add checked. And they're all in here in my breakfast, beautiful. And then here it gives me the breakdown of my breakfast. So I ate 286 calories, 37 grams, car grams carbs, five grams of fat, 22 grams of protein, quite a, a bunch of fiber, 11 grams of fiber. So I did a good job. I'm gonna be full for a while with this breakfast and I'm gonna go about my day. And when come, uh, when it's time for lunch, I'm gonna do the same for lunch. Uh, and at the end of the day, you see uh, the breakdown of your day. So when you connect your MyFitnessPal with Total Body Lab, so you actually can, um, I'm not gonna show you how, I'm just gonna send you instructions, but essentially uh, you are gonna connect the two apps and I'm gonna see your, your thing in here. This is my dog, by the way, this is like my test client. So, you know, my name is Hera. And uh, essentially I was testing this challenge on her. I'm going to see what you ate on the calendar. So let's go in here. What's today? Today's Sunday. So because um, she's just a test client, I don't see what she ate, but typically I would see exactly this circle and this breakdown in her calendar or in your calendar right here. And that's gonna be there every day. And if I don't see it, I'm gonna be angry because I need to see that. I need to see your daily weight and I see what you eat every day. And then we're gonna see the trends, all right? And if I don't see that, I'm gonna be angry. And you don't want for me to be angry, okay? Angry coach is bad. Angry coach probably means you're gonna get more cardio. 
um, and you don't want that. <laughs> All right, continuing. Uh, so I'm gonna ask you to track for the next few days. Um, just eat what you eat and try to get a little more protein, at least 100 grams, and try to hit at least 25 grams fiber. Um, and tops 60 grams of fat. I'll send you a reminder of that uh, and see how you do. You can supplement the protein if you want. You can sub get the vitamins if you want. There's the, these are the, the two brands that I like. You can add whichever ones you like. I don't care as long as you get enough B12, vitamin D, C, iron, magnesium, and zinc. Especially in the winter, please. Magnesium is so you don't get too sore. Zinc is because it also increases the, um, your, uh, ma makes you not get sick. B12, if you're vegan, vegetarian, please get enough. Um, anyways, obvious stuff. You already know this. Omega-3s, women, very important for healthy hormone function, especially if you're dieting. Please get some. The Ocuflower oil from Clean Machine is vegan. Most of the other supplements that I know are like fish oil and stuff. I don't care which ones you get. As long as you take them and as long as your hormones are in check, you're good to go. Um, all right. Proteins, here's some examples. You have this in your email. Read this. Carbs, fats, uh, useful stuff. Just read this, okay? Um, if you have cravings, um, sure, put it, set a timer, engage with a busy task, uh, make yourself some tea. If you're absolutely ravenous, you can get some popcorn. This is what I have to do. I like to either make a vitamin platter, make myself some popcorn, or I would just make lower calorie desserts, such as the tofu pudding that most of y'all know what it is. It's on my, on my Instagram, it's on my website. It's pretty nice. It doesn't have a lot of calories. It has a ton of protein and I, I just knock on it. Doesn't help if you're over your calorie limit, but at least it's not like a bag of chips. So, I mean, a lot of the times when you're hungry and you know you're gonna eat something, you may as well have a healthy snack. Anyways. We're going to talk a lot more about this throughout the challenge and share recipes, but um, log whatever you eat, okay? Always, if you feel bad or feel good, don't care. Food doesn't care. Your body doesn't care. Log it. Cool. Um, let's see. More tips. Oh, my gosh, this is long. <laughs> um, you don't need the supplements right now. Don't get them. I mean, get them if you want, but you don't need them before the workout. Um, I drink coffee. You don't have to during the workout. Don't need to do anything super different. Uh, and after the workout, you can have your higher carb meal if you'd like. I would avoid all kinds of sports drinks and things like that. And definitely do not treat yourself to an extra drink pizza. When I give you your macros, they are going to consider... I'm going to take into consideration your workouts and your cardio. So no, you don't get more food if you do more workout. Okay. Does that make sense? If you worked on your house a full day and you did the workout, you still don't get more food. I'm sorry. Like if you feel like you've been, I don't know, chopping trees for five hours, then maybe send me a message, but still like you're not chopping trees for five hours every day. You're fine. Unless your goal is to gain weight, which some of y'all's may be. In that case, you don't really get less food, I would say. In that case, you, you at least got to hit your maintenance. Does that make sense? Thumbs up. Oh, Katya, I have a question. So you mentioned that you wanted us to take like a certain amount of like protein and fat uh, every day. Um, is it the same for everyone or is it does it depend on like the height and weight? Right. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, the way I usually, I usually coach people one-on-one. -on -one. I usually don't do the group thing for, for this. I understand y'all are different people with different goals, but because it's uh, like a deal group thing, we're all going to do the same workouts and the same cardio. Uh, the only difference is going to be your macros and your calories. And yes, they are going to be different because everybody's goals are going to be slightly different. So we can adjust that with food. However, to understand where you are at, because you say you eat 1500 calories, you may gain weight. If, even if we are this, about the same height, the same age, same everything, and I may lose weight because our bodies are so different. Like I have one client, she's a girl and she, to gain, to start gaining weight, she's not, she's skinny. Uh, to start gaining weight for her, she needs to eat over 3000 calories, 3000. That is insane. 
She's shorter than me. She's skinny. I'm just saying, like, we're so different, right? And then some, some guys that are losing weight that also work out with me could be like six foot something and they work out a lot, but they don't start losing weight until I put them around two, 2,000 and change. So the reason why I'm asking for you to track for the next two days is so that I see about, right about where your maintenance is, okay? The only thing that I asked is that you try to get a little more protein, so at least 100 grams, and you try to limit your fats, so uh, 60 grams or less. You try to eat enough fiber, okay, which means uh, whole foods, at least 25 grams. So try to hit those three numbers and then eat how you eat outside of that for the next two days. After those two days, so either today and tomorrow, tomorrow and after tomorrow, I'm going to look in your calendars after you sync your my fitness pal. And from these, I'm going to calculate your numbers for the rest of the weeks. Your numbers are going to get adjusted bi-weekly, so every two weeks depending on where your weight is, where you're, how you're trending, trending down, trending up, we're going to adjust and everybody's going to have different numbers. But for the next two days, we're going to have slightly similar goal just because it's kind of hard. Cool. More questions. All right. No more questions. Well, then I'm going to share screen again. So everybody read this thing. Um, you are also, oh yes, before I forget, you also have gotten, in the, in the email, you have gotten um, three documents that you need, need to sign, right? There are waivers that say essentially, if you kill yourself while doing a push-up, it's not my fault. And then you understand the policies of how it works. So uh, until you sign these, I'm not, I won't put workouts in your calendar. So I need those signed um, as soon as possible. Otherwise, I won't give you the workouts. Um, I also do prefer having the progress photos before I give you all stuff, but I mean, take them whenever you can take them. I'll send you samples of the ones that I took today. You'll see my fat ass uh, standing like this and then with the, on the, to the side. Uh, so um, you don't have to share them with everybody. You can just upload them into your, um, into your app. So I see them and you see your own progress, but uh, I highly recommend throwing them in the chat. It's usually really fun how people are like, oh my gosh, I look so off. And everybody's like, shut up, you're a goddess. <laughs> so yeah, progress photos, um, sign the forms. Let's see, there's not that much else you need to do. Let's go check the chat. Oh, actually in the email, it mentions something about consultation form. Where yeah, can I the find consultation that? consultation form uh, is, I can resend you yours. You already trained with me a little bit ago, so you probably, um, to do, to do, essentially, yeah, you probably need to renew yours because yours is, is, I still have the old one. So consultation form is right here, and I, mm. I'm not sure if you can uh, access it without the invitation. So let me make a note. Can I um can I modify it through um through Total Body uh, Lab website? Uh, so the 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 Total Body Lab website. By the way, I want to clear up the confusion in case anybody uh, doesn't know. So the TotalBodyLab.com website is is just a website, right? It's the website where there's like info about me and what I do and stuff. Now, this is the app that you need to download, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can access it through the computer. The client login is right here at the top, right? So if you go to totalbodylove.com, the client login is at the top and then it takes you to the app. This is different than the website. I hope it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, and then MyFitnessPal is also a different app that you can do from your computer or you can download it and hook it up to Total Body Lab. The, la the latter would be preferred. So essentially co the consultation I'm gonna send to everybody. So don't you worry if you already filled yours a long time ago, I'll send you a refresher. And um, let's see, when everybody logs into the chat, I pretty much tell you like what you need to do that week. So uh, this week is like, send me the forms and introduce yourself and meet other ladies and take photos and everyone here. And then, um, so in the beginning, here's another important thing. In the beginning of each week, this is probably gonna look about the same from the phone, except prettier. <sighs> Come on. All right. 
it's taking a second. So essentially, um, you're going to put the workouts in your calendar at the beginning of each week. I put the first one in for you. So tomorrow, it's going to, the first one is going to be legs and chest. Um, there is a short video on how to use the app. If you're confused, I highly recommend wa watching it because it just explains everything. Uh, a lot of the similar stuff that we talked about today. Um, so essentially in the beginning of each week, you schedule your workouts, you just drop them in Monday, Tuesday, whenever you want. You're gonna have between three to five every week and some cardio. So you're going to have instructions just like this. And when you're ready to do it, you just hit enter stats. And then say you did your gymnastics in the beginning. And then you did, I don't know, um, the pounds is um, if you use extra weight. So uh, I know some people, sometimes they're like, oh, I'm squatting my body weight. So they will put like, I don't know, 140 pounds in here. Like I, I just put zero, I keep this to added weight. So until you have like a resistance band or dumbbells, which we won't have for this challenge, I would put in zero and say you did, I don't know, 15 squats for the first um, set and then 20 hip thrusts, et cetera. And then you have like a bunch of rounds. So you just save them when you're done. And I see uh, that the workout is completed. See blue, blue check mark. I wanna see the blue check mark. Boom, done. That means you, you killed it, you did it. If I see a bunch of white check marks, uh, white no check mark, that means you didn't do what you were supposed to do that week and you're gonna get some shit from me because you're lazy, okay? So complete your workouts or reschedule them for the next days. Good? Um, Kanta, I was supposed to see this workouts tomorrow or are they supposed to be reflected on the calendar as of now? So your workouts are going to be in the training plan. You're not gonna be uh, going to see them until tomorrow because the week starts tomorrow. Um, Got it. Yeah, uh, today, just um, send me the forms, take the photos, introduce yourself if you want, I mean, no pressure, um, and um, order a band. If you haven't ordered bands yet, I request everybody gets one band. It's really cheap. Uh, you're not going to need it in the first workout, but in the latter ones, you will. Uh, so super handy. So just do that. And then we are going to hit it from tomorrow. So the way you schedule your, your workouts if, is you go to, oh, oh, it's not letting me do it. Anyways, um, you'll see from the phone, uh, you go to your training plan and, uh, or to the calendar and you just schedule the workouts for the rest of the days during the week. It's pretty easy. If you can't figure it out, let me know, but I'm sure you will. Cool. More questions. As a recap. Uh, so basically, we go. We, we need to download two apps: Total Body Lab and My Fitness Pal, right? Yes. Sign in the forms. Yes. Um, make the pictures. Get the band. Mm -hmm. Um, and for two days, give you uh, log in whatever we were we are eating during the day. Uh, so, question: You will be posting the workouts like how often like every two weeks and then we will have to schedule ourselves which specifically days we will be working on yes and marking those blue marks on the specific dates yes so yes you got it right yeah ex exactly so um i'll see how y'all do uh we do have a stronger uh group than last year so uh depending on how everybody does um i may i haven't designed the latter weeks yet i'll see how y'all do and then I may, I may decide to do like, to ramp it up a little and to ramp it up a little. Last year, that's what we did. We did like a moderate intensity first and then we ramped it up a little bit. So uh, in the beginning of each week, say Monday, you schedule all of your workouts for the days that you want. You don't care which days and I don't know your schedule, um, but I will see if they're not complete. I want for you to complete your set scheduled workouts throughout the week. Um, okay, the workouts are gonna be in your training plan. So you go to the training plan, check all the workouts, say rainy day cardio. I don't want to do this because I'm going to run outside. Workout one, booty and chest, and workout two, legs and something. Um, each week is going to tell you in the description how many you've got. So just schedule them. And then at the end of the week, they're going to disappear. Uh, for the, I mean, they're not going to, they're going to disappear if you have a new week plan, if that makes sense. So if you have like the first two weeks and they're the same, they're going to stay the same. On the third week, Monday, 
you're not going to be able to complete your last week's workout because you're going to have new workouts. Um, and I may decide to do like the first week easy, then the second two weeks harder, then another week easy. I'll, I'll just I'll just have to see. Uh, so yeah, get get ready that the starting Monday you're not going to be able to make up. Got to get them done. What's the typical length of the workout? Uh, that will also depend. I would say between 45 minutes and an hour 15, probably. Okay, for example, uh, like usually I'm going to the gym like every other day for, I don't know, 40 minutes because it's in the beginning of the day, early in the morning. So would that be possible to split the workout in two for, and work like every day but for like 25, 30 minutes? Or should I be doing like four times a week and the whole hour or hour 15? How you basically we split the workouts, the one that you would give to us or no and- Why do you want to, to split the- it? Can you absolutely not wake up half an hour earlier on? No, I can, I can, I can. I'm just asking if it's, you know, I'm just weighing my options. <laughs> you can, you, I mean, it's, up to you you also can better to keep them on. i recommend uh doing some very specific things so i recommend no snacking between your meals eating uh two three four five big meals no snacking and fasting before your workout so you don't throw up and you're you know digested and send your the glucose is in your blood the carbs are in your blood and then you use them um uh, for the workout so fast three hours before the workout do your workout then eat the food uh then rest and recover. And I do recommend that you do um, the workout the way I've designed them and not split them. If you absolutely have to, yes, you can. You can schedule twice of the same workout, say the same for Monday and the same for Tuesday and do half then, half then, but I, I, don't, I wouldn't do it that way. Okay. okay, thank you. Yeah. Any more questions? Me again. Yeah. <laughs> so um, about the food plan about the, you said that you will be doing the corrections. Um, how, I guess, that w- would that be done again every two weeks? Yes. Or you will be looking into this on a, like once a week. I'm just trying to figure I'll out. I'll be looking at it once a week. If you're completely off the track, I'll probably fix it more often for you. But most people don't need more than two weeks correction, myself included as an athlete. It just, it doesn't really make sense uh, because your body also has a lag in between of what you eat and how it reacts. Mm-hmm. Say like if you had a birthday and you ate cake and drank vodka and you just completely stuffed yourself today, you may weigh in less tomorrow and the day after and say three days after your body's going to stall and then it's going to go up in weight is because everybody's metabolism is different. And then how your body reacts to what you eat has a little lag. So it, changing macros makes you good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, are you gonna send instructions how to link my fitness pal with the total body lab? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good question. Uh, okay. One important thing I wanna mention to everybody, probably mainly not for y'all, but for people watching this on recording, because I know some of them do this and some of them have asked me this. If I hear one more time, oh, I overate, but I ate only healthy. I ate good foods. I don't give a crap. You overate, you overate. That's it. Calories are calories. Calories are calories from your coffee, from Starbucks that has 500 calories and you could have eaten a meal instead or from diet soda that is zero or like one calorie or from like I don't care you can diet on pizza and I don't know diet coke I don't recommend it but calories are calories and I really don't care if you have overeaten but the foods are healthy congratulations people watching this and recording if I hear this you can get yelled at don't be don't ask this dumb question again ever cool cool let's check the chat nothing in the chat you guys got everything all right (laughs) is everybody ready to go Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) all right awesome awesome sounds good well um send me messages um if you have any more questions uh send me the forms I'll share my pictures, you laugh at them. Look forward to seeing yours and um, we will chat more tomorrow.
Well, thank you. Awesome. Bye, y'all. Have a nice meeting, everyone. Bye.